If your system isn't turning off, there's a good chance that it's time to replace the auto shutoff valve, which is the square piece on the back of your RO system that has four pieces of tubing going in and out of it. It's very important that you install this correctly. So what you could do is when you have your brand new one, you would match it up with the existing one and take up one piece of tubing at a time and line up each hole so that way you don't do it incorrectly. On the system itself, there is an in carved into the plastic and there's an out, so it's marked for in and out. But there's also a back side with no screws and a front side with screws. If you install this backwards, it's not gonna work correctly because the way it works, water is going through this valve into the membrane, comes out of the membrane and goes through the valve again and to your DI. When you close the water off, so water can't get out anymore from either RO or DI, it puts back pressure inside this valve, which pushes a plunger back and stops good water from going in, or it stops the water going into the system in the first place. It's really kind of neat. The auto shutoff valve is very easy to replace. If it has to be replaced once a year, or once every couple of years, that's just nature of the beast. There's nothing that you did wrong. The parts just eventually wear out. But the benefit of this is once you, when you're making water and you're collecting in a barrel and you use a float valve and the valve comes up and puts pressure on the system, it will turn this off so that your floors stay dry. And that's what every person wants is dry floors when they have a reef tank.